The inspiration for my book, Faces in the Flames, a ghost story, is the sinking of this ship in World War II that, in part, resulted in the death of the man and his dog seen in this picture. Watch the following trailer for Faces in the Flames, a ghost story. My name is Cameron Lund. Wow, I have got to tell you what happened when my dad and I flew from our home in Maryland all the way to Ulithia Toll in the South Pacific, just so we could scuba dive on my grandpa's sunken World War II ship. Back in the war, he was on his ship when it was hit and sunk by a suicide torpedo. 63 men were killed and at least 20 bodies are still in the ship. It's a war grave. Divers can only dive around the ship with local guides to make sure nobody goes inside or takes anything. I knew there would be adventure, but it was both exciting and terrifying. The kids at the local guide were both really cool. Vera and her brother Tony. I lucked out and had Vera as my dive buddy. Vera and I got to spend a lot of time together. Well, scuba diving to the ship was awesome, but a bit scary. It's a deep dive, 130 feet down. We made our way down a rope tied to the wreck. The ship has many dangers. Most of it's upside down, unexploded ammunition, running out of air, and jagged metal that I accidentally cut myself on. Ouch! I worried after I remembered that sharks can smell blood up to four miles away, even just a few drops. On my next drive, the problems got way worse. At the ship, I got really strange calling to go into it. I knew I wasn't supposed to and it wasn't safe, but something made me go inside. Before I knew it, I was deep inside the ship with something shining in my hand. It was only that night that I found out it came with a ghost. Find out why the ghost chose me, what the ghost wants of me, and what I have to do to get my life back to normal. Read Faces in the Flames, a ghost story by author R. Fulleman, and read Faces in the Flames, the true story, a non-fictional account in the back of the book that tells of the actual sinking and some of the struggles for survival and rescue.